Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Today, we're looking to the life of Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt, a queen whose name still echoes through history. Her story is filled with love, ambition, courage, and tragedy, making her one of history's most intriguing figures. We'll explore her life from the beginning and examine her complex relationships with two of Rome's most powerful men, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. And we'll look at how her legacy has evolved over time. Cleopatra was born in 69 BCE to the Ptolemaic dynasty, a family of Macedonian Greek origin that had ruled Egypt for nearly 300 years. But her life was anything but a fairy tale. Her father, Ptolemy XII, was seen as a weak ruler, and the people of Egypt were discontented, often leaving Cleopatra and her siblings vulnerable to plots and schemes from within their own family. In 51 BCE, by the time she was 17, Cleopatra's father passed away, leaving her and her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, as co-rulers. Yet, even as a young teenager, Cleopatra displayed intelligence and an unshakable resilience that set her apart. Despite the chaos and the constant threats from her siblings, she was determined to rule in her own right. At just 18, Cleopatra ascended to the throne alongside her brother-husband, Ptolemy XIII. But her brother's advisors saw her as a threat. Soon they forced Cleopatra out, exiling her from her own kingdom. Yet Cleopatra's mind was already plotting her return, one that would come with the help of the most powerful man in the world at the time, Julius Caesar. In 48 BCE, in one of history's most legendary moments, Cleopatra had herself smuggled into Caesar's presence, wrapped in a rug. This daring move captured Caesar's attention and sparked a romance that would shape the future of both Egypt and Rome. Cleopatra captivated him not just with her beauty, but with her intelligence, ambition, and vision. Cleopatra bore Caesar a son, Caesarian, securing her place in his life. She visited Rome, but her presence was controversial. Roman society saw her as a foreign queen, a threat to their values. Yet Cleopatra was undeterred. She envisioned a powerful alliance between Egypt and Rome, one that could secure her son's future on both thrones. Then, tragedy struck. Julius Caesar was assassinated in 44 BCE, leaving Cleopatra vulnerable and once again in a dangerous position. Alone, with a young son to protect, she returned to Egypt, her heart scarred by the loss. Back in Egypt, Cleopatra managed her kingdom and continued to build her power. In 41 BCE, she encountered Mark Antony, one of Caesar's former allies and a powerful Roman general. Their relationship blossomed into one of history's most passionate and politically strategic partnerships. They quickly became lovers, and together they sought to forge an empire that could stand against Octavian, Caesar's adopted heir. Antony and Cleopatra had three children, and they envisioned a new empire rooted in both Roman and Egyptian culture. Antony even declared Cleopatra's son, Caesarian, as Caesar's legitimate heir, infuriating Octavian, who was determined to take sole control of Rome. Their love and defiance reached a dramatic climax when Octavian declared war on them. In the Battle of Actium in 31 BCE, Antony and Cleopatra's forces were defeated. Antony, devastated by betrayal and defeat, took his own life, believing Cleopatra had already died. Octavian's forces approached Alexandria, and Cleopatra faced a terrible choice surrender and face humiliation as a Roman captive or die as a queen. Refusing to be paraded as a trophy in Rome, Cleopatra chose death on her own terms, allegedly using the bite of an asp, a cobra symbolizing Egyptian royalty. With Cleopatra's death on August 10, 30 BCE, Egypt fell to Rome, marking the end of both the Ptolemaic dynasty and Pharaonic Egypt. Her children with Antony were taken to Rome and raised by Octavia, Antony's former wife, 
while Caesarion was captured and executed by Octavian. Cleopatra's story has resonated through time, capturing imaginations worldwide. Her portrait on ancient coins, along with statues and paintings, depicts her as a ruler embodying intelligence and elegance. Cleopatra's beauty, though often emphasized, was not merely physical. Ancient historians like Plutarch noted her enchanting presence, wit, and charisma that won over powerful men. Throughout history, Cleopatra has been portrayed in various ways. Shakespeare immortalized her in his play Antony and Cleopatra, presenting her as a captivating and tragic heroine. In cinema, Elizabeth Taylor's portrayal in the 1963 film Cleopatra brought her story to life in stunning visuals, and later adaptations continued to explore her complex persona. Historians' Views on Cleopatra Historians' perspectives on Cleopatra have evolved over time. Roman historians, especially those aligned with Octavian, often cast her as a dangerous seductress, focusing on her relationships with Caesar and Antony. Later historians, however, examined her as a skilled ruler, one of the few women to successfully hold power in an ancient, male-dominated world. She spoke multiple languages, pursued diplomatic strategies, and sought to preserve Egypt's independence amidst the rising power of Rome. Cleopatra's Lasting Impact Today, Cleopatra is remembered as a symbol of strength, resilience, and femininity. Her legacy endures not only in ancient art and literature, but also in modern adaptations, films, books, and even visual art. Cleopatra was a queen who fought to protect her kingdom and her family in a world that constantly sought to diminish her power. So, what do you think? Was Cleopatra merely a queen who wielded power through romance? Or was she a strategist fighting to maintain her dynasty in a turbulent world? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If Cleopatra's story intrigued you, make sure to hit the like button Subscribe for more of history's tales and share this video with others who love diving into the past.